Digital work instructions give your operators access to the right information at the right time. With Tulip, you can design work instruction solutions to ensure that every job is done right the first time, every time. In this video, we'll take a quick look at work instructions. We'll cover what they are, how they work, and how to build them. We'll make sure that you have everything that you need to design a work instruction solution that works best for your operations. So let's get started by taking a quick look at how we approach digital work instructions. We're used to thinking of work instructions as paper packets. The drawbacks of these paper packets are well known. They're easily damaged, difficult to navigate, and handwritten data is prone to mistakes. Paper is often just not the best medium for presenting and recording information in complex production environments. But it's also important to clarify the term digital and digital work instructions. When we talk about a truly digital work instruction, we're not just talking about displaying paper on an electronic interface, what we would call paper on glass. Digital work instructions allow you to transform how an operator performs their tasks. So, what should a truly digital work instruction do? For one, digital work instructions should be a seamless, interactive part of how humans perform their work. Whether it's computer vision guided Pictolite, embedding rich media like videos or CAD files, or integrating quality checks directly into a workflow, work instructions should make it easier to accomplish a task by supporting how humans work. Similarly, digital work instructions should make data collection a seamless part of any task. If I'm an operator, I don't want to worry about stopping my work to find the right field on a paper form to enter a piece of production information. And if I'm a manager, I don't want to put a resource on the line to do time studies. I just want to get the number and keep moving. Digital work instructions make collecting data an obvious and automated part of execution. And finally, digital work instructions don't exist in a silo. Tulip applications are most effective when multiple apps come together into a system for continuous improvement. So Tulip work instructions can be easily integrated with other applications for quality, order management, production visibility, alerting, and more. In short, work instructions should augment your operators, and Tulip gives you a foundation for designing work instructions that are truly digital and truly transformative. So, now that we have a sense of what work instructions are, let's spend some time reviewing how to design work instruction solutions. Work instructions can range from simple interfaces for displaying information to complex, multi-purpose solutions for augmenting human work. So let's start with the basics. All work instruction solutions are fundamentally a mechanism for displaying information to an operator. Whether it's detailed instructions to guide an assembly process or just critical parameters an operator needs as they carry out their work, the first step is to create that scaffolding for presenting information. There are several different application architectures that you can explore. The option that works best for you will depend on the number of products you want to apply work instructions to, the level of variation and customization in your process, and what other use cases or applications you intend to incorporate into your solution. Whether you're a high mix shop with thousands of product variations or just need a way of ensuring simple assemblies are performed accurately, we offer templates and guidance to help you get started with the right design. You can find a detailed guide for helping to pick the right template in the knowledge base. You can find more information in Tulip Library, the knowledge base, and university. Next, you need to spend some time examining what exactly an operator is doing in the location you plan to deploy these applications. Here, you can take a simple inventory. So, what portion of the process is accomplished at this station? What information does an operator need to effectively accomplish their tasks? What data do they need to collect? What devices are at the station? And what interface will the operator use to access the work instructions? From here, you can start to sketch the outlines of a work instruction solution. Let's take two hypotheticals. We'll look at two processes in a single plant at Acme Core. First, Acme has an assembly cell where a small number of assemblies and sub-assemblies are completed depending on the orders up that day. There isn't a lot of variation within any of the processes, and operators don't want to scroll endlessly through each step. They know the process, and they just want to be able to track their work against production targets, log defects, and reference the SOPs when necessary. For this use case, Acme has decided it made sense to go with a simple app-based work instruction design. At the other end of the spectrum, let's look at a different Acme plant. This facility produces dozens of products with a huge amount of variation. Operators can't rely on muscle memory to guide them through a process. For this plant, Acme chose to go with a table-based design that allows them to manage their products and variations at scale. Both solutions work, and the right one for you will depend on the needs of your operations. So, how do you get started with work instructions? 
We've provided everything you need to help you design the right solution for your operations and to get your apps into production quickly. If you want to get started quickly, start by checking out the templates and examples in the Tulip Library. We've created a number of different styles of work instruction applications that account for a number of different variations in design, user preference, and backend architecture. You can download these directly into your Tulip instance. If you're looking for more context, we've got you covered too. For a detailed walkthrough of how to build work instructions applications, head over to Tulip University. There, you'll learn step-by-step -step how to go from idea to deployable work instruction application from a Tulip expert. Happy building!